What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Guys, today we're going to be talking about Decimated again because there is a lot of confusion in the air when it comes to the contract address and also the token launch itself. So I'm going to be answering some of the questions in the comments and also give you a little bit of analysis of where the confusion is with the contract address and give you guys a little bit of certainty and hopefully some security around what you should be doing to prepare for the launch of the DIO token, and that is the token for Decimated. Now, with that said, be sure to like that button, hit that subscribe button, and join our Patreon page. So without further, we will begin. Let us start with the confusion. So what happened yesterday? So we posted a video showing you some step-by-step -step guides to copy and paste a contract address into Radium. And so what was that? That was this website called Gem Hunters. And I showed you guys that this contract address you can insert into your Radium. And simply, if you were to copy and paste that address onto Radium, you would get the DIO token. Now, when this was uh, uploaded yesterday, someone made a really good observation from this. And I wanna share with you guys my perspective of kinda what to go, where to go from here. And so what his uh, comment was, Luciano, I'm gonna protect his last name, are you sure that Radium, the, ID, uh, the DIO token, is the right one and not a fake one? That's a really good question. Usually the contract address is not displayed or announced before the actual token launches. Can you clarify that please? Very important too because that is very common that some gaming tokens uh, do not release their contract address until like maybe a day or two days before. Um, so that is a very good question. But he, he also did his own research and he's like, the contract address suggested in this video, which was on Gem Hunters, is not right. Check Etherscan and CoinGecko. This video should be banned. And I really appreciate Luciano being very transparent and very straightforward because he does not want other people to be scammed or to send uh, people's money to the wrong contract address. So thank you, Luciano, for pointing that out. And we always love comments like this, no matter if it's good or bad, because we want to dive deeper and know what that is. So what is the story behind the contract address of DIO and its history? And as you guys are aware, Decimated started off in 2018 uh, by the Decimated team. And originally they were gonna be launching on Ethereum. So when they were gonna launch on Ethereum, they realized that they didn't like the model between Ethereum's gas fees and slow transactions. And so they decided, you know, we're gonna move our game from uh, Ethereum over to Polygon. And in this article back in October 12th of 2021, so this is kind of fairly new, upcoming multiplayer post-apocalyptic cyberpunk RPG Decimated is migrating from Ethereum to Polygon in order to enable the use of the DIO token, NFTs and play to earn economy. Further down, it says, as a result of this migration, the project will discontinue the old DIO smart contract. Then we'll issue a new DIO smart contract in Q4 of 2021. The plans to issue the new DIO tokens automatically via airdrop before releasing the game. So already, I mean, this is actually kind of recent, right? We're only in December. So they were in just two months ago, were planning on launching on Polygon. And because Polygon is built on the Ethereum blockchain, because Polygon is a layer two solution, this is what Luciana was talking about. He was saying that this address right here does not match the address that I was uh, bringing up. And that's a really good point. But if you guys are aware, Decimated is no longer on Ethereum or Polygon. What do I mean by that? As we mentioned in a previous video, that Decimated will be launching on the Solana blockchain. So this was listed on October 27, just within the same month. So Fractured Labs, the team that created Decimated, the development team uh, is bringing the multiplayer RPG back to the blockchain. Having launched its pre-alpha on Steam this month, the team has announced it will be moving its ecosystem to Solana. So already there, the team has already switched gears and said, we're just gonna go to a completely different blockchain because Solana, fast transactions, cheaper transactions, of course they're gonna go there. Now, having undergo two years of development, the team made the decision to put its blockchain integration on hold until the game was sufficiently developed. Now, going forward, this ultimately means that it's token DIO, NFTs and economy will be powered using the layer one solution with a good reason. With the game now in the hands of players as an early build, it'll come face to face with some stress tests on its mechanics and ability to scale. In order to drive forward its sustainable 
a sustainable economy to couple with its diversifying gameplay and its needs solution like Solana. Obviously, they're like, you know what? We don't want to have to deal with the headaches of Ethereum and also Layer 2 solution because soon Ethereum may switch to proof of stake and maybe Polygon may be a thing of the past. Who knows? Uh, nothing against the uh, Polygon army. Further down, it says what this also means is for older DIO smart contracts, th this, is, this means that when people possibly had bought the DIO token on an exchange, which is no longer available. Uh, and I actually f forget what exchange that was, but people were able to actually buy the DIO token before uh, privately. Well, those people, uh, those tokens will be discontinued by Q4 2021. Now, with the new smart contract being issued around the same time, owners of the old Ethereum DIO will be able to swap their tokens for the new tokens on Solana. So at least they have a game plan to allow people who old own those old tokens to switch it over so obviously people are so confused about this it's confusing our viewers and so this is why we create these videos to give some clarity now if you go on to crypto rank it does state where uh, decimated is so if you don't know crypto rank it allows you to understand uh, the seed investments that have gone into this project way beforehand but right here it clearly says is now built on solana and this seems to be continuing to move forward now before it gives you a history of what sales have happened thus far now the furthest way in the past this is a, a weekly release over 12 months so that means that uh, these investors have 18 months before they can uh, unlock their tokens and, and sell their profits. So these are locked up. But these are the seed investors that bought this token at around one cent. And that could have been early on this year, uh, which was based on the Ethereum blockchain and so forth. You know, uh, the following event was sold for three cents. The following event was sold for four cents. And now these IDOs that are being released both on Firestarter and Hubie Global are at five cents. So now you can kind of understand like, okay, it looks like they are migrating. It looks like they are doing this very slowly, but they've been in this development for since 2018. Now, if you're still not convinced, go over to SoulScan, right? If you go to SoulScan, you'll look up the decimated token. So if you go to the search engine and you type in decimated, which I'm typing right now, notice that there's only one token available right now. There's not two, there's not three, it's just one right and you take that token and this is the contract address right here you copy that address and you kind of can get to see uh the transactions that are being held right now and there's a lot of activity the, the past um uh, 24 hours so these are accounts that are created and this one also talks about the holders it gives you the tokenomics of what divisions of these tokens are done it has the analysis in terms of the billion dollar token again it's not showing you the exact amount each way and then here's the market, which is completely empty. So that gives you an idea of what the tokenomics is and also the contract address. So we're going to take this address right here, which we just did. And we're going to take the address that was on Gem Hunters. And what we did was we compared it on this website called Text Compare, which compares the two different uh, uh, contract addresses. And so when you compare it, it says that the two texts are completely identical. So based on SoulScan and based on Gem Hunters, that address is correct. And that's the address that we installed on Radium. And that's why the token shows up there. But I have a solution for you guys. If you still don't feel comfortable with this, then you're going to want to go to a different website. And this is something that was announced recently. Prism.ag. Prism is a swap exchange where it allows you to swap tokens. And the way I heard about Prism was a website uh, with Twitter that announced by Radium, which is the swap itself, Radium actually formed uh, a fusion pool with Prism. So Prism and Radium uh, are in cahoots with each other. And also uh, Prism uh, is a token that's also listed on Radium. So Prism is legit in terms of its relationship with Radium. It's not just some random exchange. So when you go back to Prism, you'll notice that you won't have to copy or paste any DIO address in there. It's already installed into the swap itself. So that is a solution for you guys. And if you feel that there's some sketchy stuff going on with third party websites, this is the way to go. And you can connect to your phantom wallet if you would like, uh, and also other wallets as well, such as Slope, Slowflare, and Solet. So those are your options, guys. And I'm glad that you guys were able to watch this video and I hope this provided some clarity for you as well. Because again, this is confusing for a lot of people and I can understand why Luciano and uh, some other comments down below in the previous clip uh, was providing some uncertainty around that. So I hope that this research has helped and I'm glad that I was able to provide some clarity for you guys as well. 
With that said, be sure to like that button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.